Today we're talking about how to farm and harvest cake. And yes, that was a real sentence that just came out of my mouth. Cake is the governance tokens when it comes to PancakeSwap, which is a decentralized finance exchange. In this video, we're talking about the platform from a high level, how to connect a browser wallet, as well as how to actually start farming cake, AKA making money. Here's a picture of me figuring out how to make money from a food themed crypto and really diving down the rabbit hole, which I would say is pretty appropriate as the mascot of this project is literally a rabbit made of pancakes. So what does this platform actually do? At its core, it is a decentralized exchange, meaning that you can come here with cryptocurrency and trade one crypto for another without any middleman such as Coinbase, Kraken, any centralized exchange like that. This is 100% done through smart contracts. In order for these swaps to happen, and there needs to be liquidity pools and there needs to be liquidity providers that get rewarded for providing that liquidity. So you have pairs like Cake and BNB where people create these liquidity provider tokens and essentially stake them in order for people to trade these tokens. And as reward, they get around 46.47% APR, which seems pretty good. Another feature is using staking pools known as syrup pools, where you take the cake and stake it to get more cake. I apologize in advance for how many times I'm gonna say cake in this video. The platform also has a prediction section, which really just seems like you're betting on the price of BNB if it's gonna be up or down within a certain period. They also have a lottery system, and then they also have NFTs. But the main focus of this video is gonna be on the exchange as well as being a liquidity provider. Now, by no means am I a veteran when it comes to pancake swap or decentralized finance. This is actually a little taste for me getting involved. I want to trial it for a little bit before depositing more money. So I went ahead and bought 0.31 BNB from crypto.com in order to try out PancakeSwap, see the process, see if I like it, and then take it from there. The first thing that you need to set up is have a browser wallet that actually has funds for you to actually use the platform. There's actually a list of all the available wallets that you can connect to the website. Once I bought the BNB on crypto.com, I went ahead and tried to send it to MetaMask, setting that all up with a Binance Smart Chain network connection, but for whatever reason, crypto.com didn't allow me to send it. So instead I used the Binance chain wallet. First sent a little bit before sending the whole amount just to test it. I know it costed a little bit more in fees, but since this is the first time that I'm actually going through the process, I wanna make sure that I don't screw anything up and I'm not somehow sending it to the wrong type of Binance contract and losing it. Went ahead, sent it to the Binance chain wallet. It showed up, you can see here in the pictures. And then what you're gonna do is go ahead Ahead and just connect your wallet. And it really is as simple as clicking that button, connect wallet, picking the provider that you chose to go with, and boom, all of a sudden you'll see the balance that's in your wallet show up on PancakeSwap. And you can take that BNB and exchange it for whatever token is available. So whether that's Baby Doge, Alpaca, and if you don't want to buy meme coins, even things like Cardano, you name it, the list of tokens are here and you can actually import different ones as well. But the point is you don't use a middleman. And the liquidity provider fee is down here. This is the amount that's going to the people that is making this exchange even possible. What's actually pretty cool is that fee is around 0.25% of the trade value. Whereas if you use an exchange like Coinbase, sometimes the fee can be 2.93% of the total trade value, which adds up to a lot of money. And this is one of those surprising things to me where DeFi is actually much cheaper than a centralized exchange. At this point, you may be asking, is it safe? Is this just some type of pine? Ponzi scheme? Am I getting screwed over? The site itself has been audited by these different firms. It has insurance. The one risk that I see with the whole smart contract system, if there is a bug in the smart contracts and somehow that's exploited, it could be a huge risk to people that are staking or farming. The thing is though, similar risks are still involved when it comes to centralized exchanges, whether that's security or if they offer staking services, there's a chance that somehow you get screwed over. Nothing is FDIC approved, but it may be more comforting because a centralized exchange has support. Whereas if you screw something up in the decentralized finance world, you're kind of just shit out of luck. Besides, personally, I think it's pretty cool to be involved with the DeFi space in some way and actually be a contributor to something that I see replacing centralized finance, big banks, big exchanges, and over a longer period of time would result in lower fees for the end user. So in this case, I have 
have Cake BNB as well as BUSD BNB pairs that are staking, and this is my farming. These are the liquidity pools that I'm providing liquidity to, and in return, I'm getting APRs around 46% here as well as 39% here, which is pretty solid. And if you want to see the potential ROI on something like this, you can click on the ROI calculator, which brings this up. You can put in a hypothetical amount or your balance, and you can see based on a year how much you may get rewarded in cake and the value of cake at this time would be $521 off of a thousand dollar stake. If you compare that versus anything related to the normal markets where 10% is considered pretty good, a savings account is basically 0% and you're losing to inflation, obviously a 52% return is nothing to bat your eyes at. Here's the part that may be a little confusing and where people may get stuck is where do you get these cake BNB LP tokens at? Because when you go to the trade exchange, nothing like that exists. That's not an option. So in order to get those, you actually have to go to this liquidity tab. You go ahead and add liquidity. And this is where you have to select that pair. So for instance, BNB and cake, that's the liquidity pool that we're going to provide liquidity to. And right now my balance is very low because I've pretty much used all of it to actually put it into pancake swap. But let's say we had 0.004 because that's the amount I have here. The equivalent in value for cake is 0.12 cake. So when you're doing a liquidity provider token, you need a 50-50 ratio. If that's one BNB, you need 32 cake. The reason I mentioned this is because let's say you deposit one BNB into pancake swap. You're not going to be able to stake one BNB and 32 cake. You need to exchange 0.5 of that BNB in order to get 16 cake. Then you can take both of those amounts and actually create LP tokens. You also don't want to have zero BNB after figuring out the 50 50 split because there are still gas fees when you're going through the process of creating this contract, actually staking it. So there's different transaction fees throughout this process. But you want to have a little BNB in your wallet. But when you actually go through the process and create those LP tokens, that's where you come here, enable the farm, and you can click this plus sign to add more LP tokens or stake more LP tokens. In this case, I can't do it because I don't actually have any, but you can also go ahead and unstake. So I can take my LP tokens that I made and go ahead and unstake those and sell the amount of cake and BNB that I'm getting back. Once you set up those LP tokens, you're on your way to farming cake. The second part of that is actually harvesting the cake, taking those rewards and actually receiving those cake tokens. And you can see since I start farming, I've earned around 0.005 cake, which I can harvest, which is only around 11 cents worth of value. Now, when I click harvest, it's actually going to bring up my Binance wallet. And it's going to ask me to pay a 65 cent fee, which doesn't make sense if I'm only getting 11 cents in cake. If you're dealing with very small amounts of money, you're only going to want to harvest when it makes sense, when the fees aren't too big of a percentage of your total earnings. Let's say you had $10 of LP tokens created. It may not even be worth it because because the fees are just going to absolutely destroy any earnings that you have. What's cool is if you are harvesting a decent amount of cake, you can turn around and stake that cake in order to earn compounded returns. All right, so what's the catch? Obviously, when it comes to the pros, you're earning money with the cryptocurrency that you already have, and you don't have to invest more fiat capital in order to do that. For downsides, there's two. The first one being known as impermanent loss. And this is a situation where when you provide liquidity, you do a 50-50 ratio of two assets. If those assets are extremely volatile, from a high level, you can actually lose money from the ratio changing and it being adjusted to 50-50 through your holding period. I know that sounds really complicated and it kind of is. So I'm gonna link an article down in the description below that does a really good job of explaining what exactly it is. An easy way to think about it is the more volatility in the price change of the pairing, the higher the impermanent loss will be. And that's why the crazier the volatility for the assets that you're looking at or the pairing, maybe why the APR is so high in order to compensate for that impermanent loss. Another downside is I would say you're more likely to hold an asset even if the price has exploded. So let's say cake went up to $100. If you're thinking like a trader, 
okay, the price has exploded recently in a short period of time, I'm gonna take profits off the table. But if you're staking or farming, you may just let it ride because you're in these contracts, which you have to get out of. Not that it's hard because you click a button, but you have the mindset of, hey, I'm earning money from the cake, so I don't wanna sell what's actually earning me yield. Overall, I love the concept, and I love the fact that I can actually get involved with DeFi while earning a little bit of money at the same time. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, as well as consider subscribing to Main Street Wolf, where we talk cryptocurrency, investing, anything to do with money. Thanks guys for watching, and have a great day. Thank you.